Room 9, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Thank you. Hmm. Now, has he left this red? Well, Ronnie's down quick. He must have done. <laughs> Good deal, but he didn't get enough backspin on the cue ball. I've no doubt he'll play the black, but it's a thin one. Very difficult, and it just caught the near bump, and they're not going to go in then. So what a chance, because all the reds are in the open. Five. Six. Yeah, it's just a matter of keeping your concentration because there's Eleven. not a lot of work to do with the cue ball in this break. Everything's in the open. It's almost like a practice setup. 12. Yeah, and he didn't have to play any precise positional shots because, worst way, he's always got that red near the right centre. Ronnie opened up the reds. OK, it was a <coughs> little unlucky not to be better on the black, but that's the risk you take. The last three frames, Stuart Bingham 19. has made a break of 67, 81, and a 52 in the last. 20. Oh, by the way, the frame where he made the 67, of course he lost. That's where Ronnie got the snooker. But the point I'm making, Stephen, is he, he is starting to score when he gets these chances. 27. 28. Yeah, that's all I can do. As long as he's at the table, there's no snickers, nothing your opponent can do about it. I'm sure Ronnie's not panicking at the moment, but a little bit concerned. Normally when he gets to the, the stage in a match where he needs one to win, he finishes off the match quickly. 34. Always having to play that insurance red, if you like. 39. Over the middle. But I think he's straight enough to be able to hold for the blue nicely. 40. Oh, has he overrun it? Looking at the body language, it tells me he has. 45, thank you. It tells me he has. He played for the, the red that's in between the black and pink spot. And he's not on it. And that was very careless. It really was. So much margin for error here. Well, he's 
looking at the possibility of an ambitious plant here. The only thing he knows is that the cue ball will be going back to the bulk end. But uh, percentage-wise, getting this with a gap between the two, very low. 45, Stuart Bingham. But as I say, he knew the cue ball was going back to the bulk end, but what an opportunity he's let slip there. on here to the right corner. They say if you're going to miss that type of shot, air on the side of being too thin, but that was very thin. A wry smile from Ronnie. And the same with Stuart. As I say, you air on the side of hitting it thin, but not that thin. So, nice easy starter. But that's all oh. it is. The rest are very, very awkward Thank when you. you think he came to the table. 44 points behind. This will be some achievement if he can win the frame of this visit. Long odds against. Eight. Nine. The right off the cushion here. Sixteen. Yep, it's just got slightly easier. Seventeen. Is this the challenge he needed, John? To spark his concentration back into life. 22. Came to the table with a sniff of an opportunity to win the match. So he won't be happy with that shot. No problem, though. That pink's a big ball in the middle of the table. That cue ball needs to run. Needs to run, and it hasn't. 28. Now, this red down the side cushion is very tricky. Got to be so accurate with this. No. No. 28. So, half a chance he had there. It was always going to be a difficult task to win the frame. Now, let's have a look at the score. Stuart, 16 points in front. He needs the three remaining reds. And we know where the problem red is. What? The one on the left-hand side cushion. He needs that to win the frame at this visit. So it's not a formality. feel if you're going to play the cannon Eight. you'd like to have the you'd like to play the black into the left corner so you've got the the black and the red he's open the cannon in your eye line but I don't know if he can do that no he had to play for the black Nine. in this corner and well I don't think he can cannon the red what's he going to do just stun it in and play a double that's the plan 
32 points to the lead, 35 remaining, red required. 16. It's the double. Not there. 16, Stuart Bingham. Ronnie needs this red and blue or above and the remaining colours for frame and match. Once again. Quiet place. Pot of the match there. Six. There's that great pot again, but he's not perfect on this yellow. But it's there. It's and he's not going to be perfect on the green unless he slows down. Well, you said, Stephen, he needed a challenge. He was, he was asked a question, what a clearance this will be. He needs the three remaining colours, and he's landed absolutely inch perfect on the blue. 20. Well, a sharp intake of breath, but this isn't too bad on the pink. 26. And, well, Stuart Bingham looked as though he was going to get right back in this match, but what a last red Ronnie O'Sullivan potted, and in goes the black. will be as pleased of the two of them because he's in the final and he beats the world champion Stuart Bingham by six frames to three. Well, goodness knows what 